Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Leonard Riley. I apologize for the echo acoustics. I'm in the garage, as you can tell. And in the city, uh, trying to film something, there's a dog that starts barking, uh, someone doing yard work, or in this particular case today, my neighbor is doing some construction work. So there's saws and workers making all sorts of noises. When a person becomes a follower of Christ, God does a wonderful thing. He takes their heart and gives them a new heart, a new mind. And we find this over in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, where it says that a person becomes a new creature. The old has passed away. So to maintain that good, clean, new heart, there are some basic things that a Christian should be doing. Bible reading, praying, communion, fellowshipping with other believers. And as we go through life, this is an ongoing process to become more like God with the new heart. Even King David recognized the importance of this when he sinned. We're all still imperfect people and we uh, commit sins and they need to be confessed. And David wrote in Psalms 51 chapter 10, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in me. Many years ago, Jan and I bought a Honda lawnmower. It's really been a great lawnmower, but it's getting a little age on it. So I've sharpened the blade, I've replaced the wheels, we've worn those out. We would change the air filter and make sure it was uh, good and clean. And uh, put the highest octane gas that I could buy in it. But recently, we started it up and it mowed for about 30 seconds, maybe a minute. And then it died. It quit. Well, I thought, okay, I'll check the air filter. So I took the air filter out. I cleaned it, put it back in, started it again, the engine. And it ran again for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then, again, it quit working. I was beginning to get suspicious that, oh, this could really be a serious problem because I had done some work on uh, small engines years ago and I suspected it could be a really serious problem, but I didn't want to admit it. So I took the gasoline out of the tank and made sure the lines were clean, put fresh gasoline in it, started it again, and I, it died within about 30 seconds to uh, a minute. So I knew there was the problem, the problem. What happens is that over time, as gasoline is put into um, engines, or actually the gas tanks, a product that is blended into the gasoline called ethanol can separate and the water that remains, whether it's in the gasoline in the first place or it's humidity, it can build up in the gas tank. And when this happens, it creates kind of a nasty residue, a varnish uh, type of uh, sticky stub substance. And that's the problem. It goes into the carburetor and over a period of time it starts clogging up the small jets and the small ports and the little tiny holes that allows the gasoline to go through the carburetor into the engine. Much like I would say plaque in the arteries that once it builds up it restricts blood flow to the other organs in the body. And this is what happens and the carburetor often needs to be taken apart and then go through a deep cleaning process of which that's what I did. So I took the carburetor off and I began the process of cleaning it and certainly um, there was some contamination but when I went to a stronger cleaner I started seeing this yellowy stuff just as I thought uh, come out of the carburetor. Now this was encouraging because uh, I was a little optimistic. I said, okay, I've turned the corner and I'm going to salvage this carburetor. But that isn't how it turned out. 
I reassembled the carburetor, uh, put it back together, put it on the lawnmower, and put some uh, type of uh, engine starter fluid in the carburetor, and the lawnmower started for about two seconds, and then it stopped. And I pulled the cord again, and the engine started, and then it stopped. So now I knew I had this serious problem. I had to capitulate, I had to surrender, and I had to confess that I needed a new carburetor. So, the next morning, reluctantly and defeated, I went over to the lawnmower place, the Honda, Honda dealership for the lawnmowers, took the carburetor, went up to the parts counter, and there was a plexiglass between us, and I said, I need a new carburetor, and he looked at it and smiled, walked away, and he came back with a brand new carburetor, and he said, you won't believe how little this cost, and I thought he was teasing with me. I said, uh, reluctant, how much? I was expecting $75, $80, and he said, $15. I said, $15? I worked six hours on this old carburetor. That comes out to $2.50 an hour. It was essentially free. The gift that I needed, a free carburetor, $15. Jesus gives us a new heart. And it's for the asking. But He asks us also, once we get our new heart, our new mind, to keep it clean, put the good stuff in. So, in my case, I am going to start putting ethanol free gasoline into this carburetor. And I'm going to uh, keep it as clean as possible, hopefully, get many more years of service out of it. So, I really like what the Apostle John wrote in 1 John when it reads, If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us of our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. If you're a Christ follower, keep your carburetor clean and don't pollute it with the things of the world. Remember, you've been bought. You've been given a new carburetor. If you're not a Christ follower, it's a wonderful thing to have a new carburetor, a new heart, a new mind, and be filled with the joy that only God can give, the peace that God can give. So we invite you to consider, if you're not a Christ follower, to please consider doing it and follow Jesus. If you have any questions, contact us at pinetree.org. We'll be happy to facilitate, answer questions. Now, let's go see if this lawnmower will start again with the new carburetor and the new gasoline. Thank you for joining us. Here we go. 